Hey everyone, welcome back to the Takeoff Channel. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress has been a cornerstone of U.S. air power for over six decades. Despite its age, the B-52 remains a vital asset in America's strategic arsenal due to its long range, heavy payload, and adaptability. One of the most critical procedures for this aircraft is its emergency takeoff process, an intense, highly coordinated operation that reflects both the complexity of the bomber and the readiness of the U.S. Air Force. A giant awakens, the B-52. Stands nearly 50 feet tall with a wingspan of 185 feet and a length of 159 feet. It can carry up to 70,000 pounds of weapons and fly more than 8,000 miles without refueling. These figures alone underscore the size and capability of the aircraft. However, getting such a massive machine airborne in a matter of minutes during an emergency requires strict protocols and a trained, synchronized crew. In high alert situations, such as potential nuclear threats or imminent attacks, B-52s may be placed on alert status, lined up on a Christmas tree alert ramp. Crews must be able to respond instantly, often living nearby in readiness facilities during such high tension periods. The alert protocol, the emergency takeoff process, begins with the sounding of the klaxon, a loud, distinctive alarm that signals air crews to rush to their assigned aircraft. The alert response is timed to the second. Within moments of the signal, pilots and support crews sprint to the aircraft, often wearing flight suits and carrying mission-critical documents. Upon arrival, the crew splits into roles. The pilot and co-pilot begin the pre-flight startup, while other crew members, such as the electronic warfare officer and radar navigator, prepare systems for potential conflict. The B-52 Stratofortress is powered by eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines. Starting these engines in an emergency is done as quickly as possible. Each engine is ignited in a precise sequence to balance power and preserve aircraft systems. Simultaneously, the aircraft's auxiliary power units are engaged to provide initial electrical power. The process includes activating fuel systems and checking pressure levels, monitoring hydraulic systems, verifying avionics and weapon systems communicating with the control tower for clearance. The goal is to complete the startup sequence in minutes, a task made possible by constant training, automation, and redundant systems. Taxi and takeoff. Once engines are started and system checks are complete, the B-52 begins to taxi. Despite its enormous size, the aircraft moves with surprising speed, guided by skilled pilots familiar with tight schedules and rapid launches. Emergency takeoffs often involve multiple B-52s launching in quick succession, a tactic known as a minimum interval takeoff. During minimum interval takeoff, bombers launch one after another, sometimes with as little as 15 seconds between them to avoid being caught on the ground during a surprise attack. The takeoff itself is a dramatic moment. With full afterburner, thrust, the B-52 roars down the runway, its massive frame gradually lifting into the sky. The ground shakes, and a long trail of exhaust marks the urgency of the mission. Once airborne, the aircraft climbs quickly and establishes a defensive posture. Mid-air coordination. 
After takeoff, B-52 crews immediately contact airborne command units and ground control. If the takeoff is in response to a real threat, the aircraft may be armed with nuclear or conventional payloads. Crews receive mission updates and may rendezvous with aerial refueling tankers to extend range. All systems remain on high alert. The aircraft's long endurance allows it to stay in the air for extended periods, waiting for further orders or targets. The crew monitors radar and countermeasures systems, ready for potential engagement. Significance of the B-52's readiness. The T emergency takeoff process is not just a display of military power, it's a signal of deterrence. The very ability to launch these aircraft at a moment's notice serves as a strategic message to potential adversaries. The United States can and will respond decisively. Even after more than 70 years in service, the B-52 remains relevant. Its systems have been upgraded over time with new communications, precision-guided weapons capability, and enhanced radar. The aircraft is expected to continue flying into the 2050s thanks to ongoing modernization efforts. Conclusion Starting up a B-52 Stratofortress for emergency takeoff is a powerful demonstration of military readiness, technical precision, and human discipline. From the blaring alert to the roaring engines and swift ascent, every second matters. The process represents not just an aircraft in motion, but a nation prepared to defend itself at a moment's notice. Through decades of service and countless hours of training, the B-52 remains a steadfast guardian of U.S. skies. Silent until needed, then unstoppable. <laughs>